Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today's video, guys, is going to be a little bit different because today, the 1st of May 2020, marks three years since I released my first ever video here on YouTube. And so to celebrate, I've put together a montage of clips and intros from the channel over the last three years. Hope you guys enjoy the montage. I am, I've i so enjoyed putting it together. So I really do hope you guys like it. And if you do watch the montage, please do stay watching until the end. Because I've got a little bit of news about my YouTube future that I want to share with you guys at the end of the montage. And also, I've got a Q&A video planned. That was due to be coming out today as well, but the montage took a little bit longer than I was expecting to put together. So the Q&A video is going to be tomorrow, but that does mean that anybody watching this video who has any questions that they want answered, drop them in the comments down below and I will read them out and I will answer them on the video tomorrow. And so, yep, with all that said, I think it's time to get into the montage and to have a look at what's been going on over the last three years. I shall see you again after that for the YouTube news. See you in a minute. Hello guys, I am Bad Jokes FM. This is my first ever go at making a YouTube video. Favourite ever signing on any football manager ever, I think. Which is a fella who just came out of nowhere and just did very, very well for me at Newport. And it's this guy, Marco Massaro. I plucked him right out of the depths of Italian lower league football into the slightly less depthy depths of League Two in England. And the man was just a goal machine during his time at Newport. Played 40 times the first season, scored 24 goals with seven assists. And what a phenomenal first season that was. This experiment is all about the England under-20s who have been so successful this summer and gone and won the under-20 World Cup. Something I thought I would never see in my lifetime, an England team winning a World Cup. But we've seen it and it was awesome. And so their success got me thinking, if these are the best under-20 team in the whole world, how would they do in the Premier League? We have been set a points target, which now stands at eight points from the next three games that we need to pick up to keep our job. And Emma Terrio with a ball, and Caleri's got me sacked. And today we've got my first home game in the FM17 Fantasy Draft League. I'm here against a fantastic, awesome Captain Goodspeed. Very special weekend, one I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. It is the FM Content Creator Day up in Nottingham at the National Video Game Arcade. Looking forward to that so, so much. And here as well with me for the weekend is my awesome girlfriend, Mrs. Bad Jokes FM, Abigail McManigan. And yes, yeah, all looking very, very good. So like I say, you will see all this and we'll see everything that's inside in just a moment. guys it's happened again twice in one save can you believe it sacked by Southampton again top five teams not to manage on FM 2018 Met Police FC whoever's heard of them I certainly haven't and so yeah I've got to manage their football team that's the deal never heard of them don't know where they play what league they play in no idea but that is what I've got to do now. Pay the five and a half million and manage their football team. No idea. Four games left to play. I've got to win four of them games. Or I'm getting the sack and I'm looking at some more time in here. But losing 6-3, surely that's us done. So now let's see what's happening. Am I out of a job? Yep. Wow. Well, that's disappointing. There is still more to win. People 
say that Football Manager can be a really difficult game, but I've decided to take that to the next level. Welcome to the No Attribute Challenge. It's time to recreate the miracle. We're going back to the start, back to my hometown, Kings Lynn. With a tumultuous recent history, after the club went bankrupt in 2009 but reforming in 2010, the club is now on the up, having been promoted to the Conference North for this season, the highest league they've ever played in. Can the hometown boy keep the good times going as we attempt to go from the walks to the Prem? Out wide to Mundell. Goodrich is in. Goodrich is in. And that's a great choice. And we're leading. We are leading just before half time in the playoff final at Wembley. There's problems all around my club, West Ham United, and the owners, David Gold and David Sullivan, all stemming from the move to the London Stadium. Step in Richie Edwards, a local East End millionaire who has created East Ham FC and is taking us back to the bowling. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that montage. I really enjoyed creating it and putting it together. It brought back a lot of memories from the last three years. And I think it could be good if any of you are a little bit smaller and you're only just starting on YouTube just to see what progression looks like because the difference from my first video to one of my latest videos and like my best video that I showed you at the end of that montage is just astronomical. Some of the stuff I can do on YouTube and After Effects and Premiere Pro now I never thought I could have done when I started this three years ago. So like I say, I really enjoyed putting that together. Hope you enjoyed watching it. And so, on to the big, big YouTube news. And that is, is that as of next week, I'm going to start uploading videos onto a second channel. And this second channel is going to be called Mayday Gaming you can see it there. Hope you like the logo. It's only something I've put together. I might not stick with it, but I like it for now. I think it's quite cool. And so on that second channel, we're going to have Total Extreme Wrestling starting from next week. I'm really excited to start that. And then it's going to be where I stick any and everything else. So Pro Evo next year, if I get the new one, that's where videos on that will go. Any other games... Uh, Planet Zoo, I might try and start Planet Zoo again at some point. Now they've got an easier difficulty level and all things like that. And any other games I feel like playing that aren't FM, I'm going to be sticking them on Mayday Gaming. So I'll put the link down below for you to be able to subscribe to. And yep guys, hope you do subscribe to that channel. Hope you stay subscribed to this one as well. And if for some reason you're new... Please do subscribe down below. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash badjokesgaming. And check out all the other Passion for FM lads as well. Because they've been a great help since the start of FM20 with the channel. So please do check all them guys out. And check out the Passion for FM website as well. Espen is an amazing guy. He, he deserves all the help he gets on the website. So please do check his website out. It's so good. And so, yeah, guys, that is enough from me for today. I am over and out, and I shall be back next week with regular FM20 content as well. So, see you then. Arrivederci.